Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox. If you were to see an old man in the street, obviously deranged, confused, didn't know where he was, didn't know what he was doing, uh, was talking about things that had happened in the past, you'd, you know, as a normal human being, you'd feel sympathetic towards him. You'd try and get him some help. You'd call someone in authority to come and collect this man and to put him back into somewhere secure, where he can be looked after and where he will not represent a danger to himself or to others. You wouldn't mock him. You wouldn't highlight these failings. That would be cruel. Uh, you would do that for normal people. However, when that man happens to be the President of the United States, it's a little bit more serious. And so, yes, you must highlight these things. Because the other old man, the one in the street, he's just a sad old man who needs help. The President has his deranged finger on the nuclear button and when he doesn't know where he is and he is talking about people who died you have to wonder what's going on within his head i think it's time they they pulled the 25th amendment that they uh, got rid of him put in a vice president at least someone who isn't um <laughs> suffering from alzheimer's and you know, just saw out the last couple of years or last year and a half of his term because it's a direct threat to the safety of the world having this man in charge. I'm going to take a look at this story, uh, his latest gaffes, uh, and it, it doesn't make for comfortable reading. We really need to, to make sure that the world is put into safer hands than this deranged old fool. The fact that his wife hasn't pulled it, in fact, I think it's just cruel. It's cruel on her part. She should look at him and go, you know what, let's just call it a day, Joe. And then, you know, sit and care for him. Sad, but dangerous. Let's have a look at this. So babbling Biden tells the Connecticut crowd, God save the Queen, man, at the end of a baffling speech where he joked about being 110 years of age and said, don't make me a dog-faced lying pony soldier. Does the guy have a clue? Um, and at, at the end of it as well, he got up and he was like, how do I get off the stage? Where do I go? What do I do? He didn't know how to even walk off a stage. The man has got his thumb on the button, ready to go. Oh, he's going to kill us all. Anyway, President Joe Biden headlined the National Safety Community Summit Friday. There's an irony. Talk about safe communities and you've got that man in charge. Biden expressed outrage about the, US, uh, the US's um, bang bang problem, but also deployed several Bidenisms. He told the crowd, God save the Queen, joked about being 110 years of age and said, don't make me a dog-faced lying pony soldier. Unbelievable. Uh, a babbling President Joe Biden gave a speech on Friday where he joked about him being 110 years of age. When you say joked, he probably means it. He told the crowd, God save the Queen and deployed some of his greatest hits, such as the verbiage, don't make me a dog-faced lying pony soldier. Um, so, <laughs> what is he on? Well, I tell you, he's not on Alzheimer's, is he? He, he? He's completely lost it. He is not there. Now, he ended the speech with a bizarre reference to Queen Elizabeth II, nine months after he went to her funeral, uh, and then motioned to aides asking which way to leave the stage because he doesn't know where he is or how to do it. Uh, Biden expressed disgust that there were victims of GV, we'll call it, every day in, in America, as again he pushed to ban uh, AR-15s and implemented several other control measures. Folks, it's time once again that we ban these things high, with high-capacity magazines. He said he also pushed for universal background checks. Uh, he said a lot of you are tired. You're tired. No, I get it, he said. Try being 110 and doing it. Uh, you know, I mean, the guy... You know, what is wrong with him? I'll tell you what's wrong with him. He's, a, he's, a, he's 110. In his mind, he's 110. And his mind has gone. It is not working properly. He, You know, he just goes, oh, I like ice cream. The, he was at a place where people, like there's a memory of, um, there's an incident. I can't go, again, it's the words you're not allowed to use on YouTube. There was an incident. People had their lives ended with the result of um, this. Yeah. And he went there afterwards to condole, you know, console the family and blah, blah, blah. And then he went, ah, now I like ice cream. We've got lots of ice cream in the White House and I'm going to go and get an ice cream and just walked off. 
people in the crowd were standing there just stunned. The number of times Jill Biden has to sort of push him out of the way and then finish what he's saying. It's not a joke. It's not a joke anymore. He is too dangerous now. It's time to go. Uh, anyway, um, he gave a meandering mention about the uh, V Against Women Act. He talked about how DV was the ultimate abuse and abuse of power. Uh, well, th that's the line. It is, and he's got the power, and he needs to be have that power taken away from him. Um, he then told the group at the end of this, I'm not going to go through all the bits that he's done because I've just already covered them. He said, he then told the group at the end, God save the Queen, before heading off stage to take pictures with participants. The pool reporter, chronicling the trip, sent out a note to the press saying he and other reporters had no idea why the President mentioned the Queen, who's been dead since September. It's because in his mind she's still alive. The guy is not with it. He's not well. He's not healthy. And for the sake of the world, will the people in America please invoke the 25th and get him out and get him somewhere where he can be cared for. You know, you don't want to see him suffer. And watching this, it's, I, it's unpleasant to watch, but it's also inhumane. And what they're doing to him is inhumane. He needs to be cared for. He's, he's, he's being mocked. He's being ridiculed. And is that what Jill Biden wants for her husband? Surely, if she loved him, she'd let him go with dignity. And I think, you know, it's the fact that she isn't kind of tells you a bit about how, how her mental work is. Unless, of course, it's all there deliberate. And they're saying, no, no, let him do, let him do this. And while we're watching him, we're not seeing who the real power brokers are. Obama. I think Obama is definitely still the president. And what Biden is, is just a, a distraction for the people. Uh, I really do feel that. But anyway, I shall round it there. It's, it's very sad. They should just get rid of him. But anyway, I shall round it and come up. Now, I genuinely do have sympathy for the man. Uh, because to lose your mind like that and, and lose re touch with reality is a terrible thing but those around him must see this they must stop it they must pull him out they must get him the help he needs and he must they must stop him being this ridiculed figure for heaven's sake for the sake of any kind of humanity if you've got any kind of humanity stop it just take him out put him in a home you know get the help and let's put america in the hands of someone who at least knows that the Queen is dead. Anyway, I shall stop there. Thank you very much for watching. If you like what you see in here on the channel, please hit that subscribe button, leave a like, leave a comment, please share the video. And until next time, stay safe, stay well, and for heaven's sake, don't mock these people. Help them. Get them the help they need. And goodbye.